Hey everybody, AJ here, and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to draw, mark up, and annotate on a PDF document using Windows Inc. We're going to use two programs today, and of course, both of them are going to be free. The first one is Microsoft Edge, which is already installed on your computer, and the second one is Zerto PDF Annotator, and I'll link it down below. Today's goal is to help you save time, money, paper, and ink when you need to edit or annotate a document. And if you really want to supercharge the way you use your computer, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my updates. I'm going to bring you guys around. I'll let you see over my shoulder the way that I'm using the pen and the touch screen to edit and annotate these documents so you can see what my workflow looks like. Cool. With that being said, let's get into it. You can see my little setup. I've got my Surface Book here. I've got my pen ready to go. Um, got my arc mouse and of course, coffee to keep you going. All right, let's get into this. Let's hit that record button and start showing you guys how to mark and annotate on your PDF. Cool, so we don't need the mouse anymore. I'm gonna use touch screen for everything else. And you can see I've got down here, I'm gonna get rid of the old one. You can see I've already got a sample document ready to go. First thing to show you Microsoft Edge. I'm gonna right click on that document, I'm gonna open with, and I'm gonna Microsoft Edge. The reason I'm gonna start with this is because A, it's already built into your PC, and B, it doesn't have that many features. This would be for really quick and rough editing. We can run through these features really quickly. So I'm gonna zoom in, two finger zoom. Across you've got the options for zooming and rotating and reading aloud, all that sort of stuff. We're gonna focus on draw and the erase button. Because I've got a Surface Pen, the back of the pen actually works as an eraser, but if you didn't have a surface pen, you'd use that erase button to, to rub things out. So I'm gonna hit the draw option. I'm gonna use the drop down option actually, so I can adjust the thickness of this pen. And of course I can pick a color. So let's get a cool color, let's, let's go for green. Because it's a surface, I can rest my, my hand on here. And now I'm gonna show you how to annotate. So I've picked the color and I wanna change some things around. Maybe I don't want this dear relationship representative. So let me just strike that through. You can't do a perfect line, so it's always gonna be really messy. So I'm gonna scroll down. Um, I'm gonna grab another color now, let's go orange. Maybe we don't like this paragraph here. And we just wanna um, reword it. So let's just say reword. It's a bit thick, so you can actually just reduce thickness and make it a bit thinner. So let me rub that out, use the back of the pen. And here we go, I'm gonna tell it again to reword and scroll down to the bottom. Maybe you don't want this in there, so you just squiggle that out. And now, of course, you're gonna sign it off. Sign it off with your name. This is a really quick rough draft, but it's good if you just wanna do those really quick edits. Now you wanna save it. In the top right-hand corner, you've got the option to save You have the, and the option to print. I'd always recommend hitting that print option so you create a copy of it. That way, if you ever wanna go back and re-annotate or make sure you've got the blank copy without any annotations, you've got that original there. So we're gonna go print Microsoft Prints PDF and I'm gonna hit that print button. And this is just gonna save it as a PDF document. And we're gonna call this annotated in Edge. And hit that save button. Cool, so it's saved. I'm gonna close that and I'm gonna go leave. Let's open that up for you. And you can see once it loads that all my annotations are gonna be here. Really rough, but still. I didn't have to use a piece of paper, I didn't have to use a pen, I didn't have to use my phone to take a photo and scan it and send it off. It's all done on the PC. If you need to make more professional looking edits, that's where I'd use Zoto PDF. So again, I'm gonna right click on the blank sample document, go open with, and down the bottom here, we've got PDF Reader by Zoto. As soon as it opens up, you can tell that this looks like a much more fully fledged PDF annotating program, but it's still free, and that's why I love using it. One tip I will give you is that if you want to zoom in and zoom out, you cannot do it when you're in the editing phase. So before you open the editing option, make sure you zoom into where you think is going to be comfortable for you. And before it gets cold, I'm going to have some of my coffee. Check out my uh, unboxing video of that Nespresso. No, you don't have to check that out. That was me playing around with video editing and understanding how to do it. But back to this. But what I want you to do is hit the pen, which is your edit option. Open that up, and across the top ribbon here, you have so many more tools to edit and annotate this PDF. So, the first thing we need to do is replicate the change we made in Microsoft Edge, but now we're gonna make it look a lot more professional. So at the top here, you can see you've got the options for highlighting, for underlining, for strike throughs, for squeaky lines, all these different options. 
I'm gonna grab that strike through option again, I'm gonna hit that little arrow, and we can change the thickness, the opacity, the color. We're gonna go red and leave it at 100%, but crank it up to three. I'm gonna select it, I'm gonna highlight one, two, three, and you can see it's a nice professional looking markup. Maybe I wanted to grab this section again. I can highlight everything if I wished, but on the right hand side, you see you've got a square, you've got a circle, a line, and an arrow. I'm gonna grab that square, change the color, let's go for an orange. Yeah, we'll leave it at one and 100%, and I can actually just grab the entire box. It's so much easier to do it with your pen because it's a much more natural input. What if you wanted to highlight some text? You know, when I was at university, before I knew how to do any of this, I would print off hundreds of you know, pages throughout the year and highlight and write over everything and then throw it out at the end of the semester or end of the year. Now I do it all digitally. So if I was reading this for the important information, it would be, we would like to request the meeting, all right? Highlighted and it's highlighted beautifully, but it's still so natural like I was doing it on a real piece of paper. So if I wanted to drop in a photo, I could, uh, but we're not gonna do that for now. I'm going to show you though, you can actually edit over this as well with real text. So if you're gonna, instead of writing things out, I'm gonna drop down the bottom here. It's gonna pull up my, my keyboard and I'm gonna say, this looks great, but it's a little long whatever you want it to be. But you can see here that I'm now using my pen, touch, and keyboard input as well. So I'm gonna close out of that. I'd encourage you to download Zerto PDF and try it out for yourself. Two things I'm gonna show you. One is gonna be the arrow, because this is where you can add things like sign here or point out something that's important. Let's change that color over to, let's go pink, make it a bit thicker. And let's grab the arrow. Whoop. Let's rotate that around. And now I'm gonna select it. And I wanna move it closer and not so big. And it could be, we can add a note inside of it. Ah, actually, instead of adding a note to here or changing the style, I wanna show you the little comment section and I'll drop that down. I think this is really cool that you can add these little annotations and comments on here. So if we wanna grab the thumbs up because who doesn't enjoy a thumbs up? and we're gonna pop it over here and drop it in. And we're gonna say, top job. Top job. It reads really well. You can see it's converting my handwriting to proper text. I'm gonna hit save, save. And now whoever opens up this document can actually tap on that little thumbs up and they're gonna see my little annotation that says top job, it reads really well. Let's close that for now. And the last thing I wanna show you is how to sign. You can see you've got the feather at the top here, and that is your signature. If I select the option for signature, and we say we're gonna place it down the bottom here, you can have a pre-save signature, or we're gonna go new for now, and it gives you the entire page to, to write your signature. So I'm gonna write Aldo James, I can go make this my default signature so I don't have to write it out all the time, but I'm not gonna do that for now. I'm gonna add signature, and I can move this around the page, right? I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. But the great thing is I can hit the option to flatten. Now, flatten means it's gonna be embedded into that document so they can't take it out. It's really, really important. I'm gonna hit flatten, and now we're done. I'm gonna scroll up, and you can see these annotations look, a they're messy because they are just doing demonstrations, but they look much more professional than what they were in Microsoft Edge. So I'm gonna close, gonna X out of this for a second, and now we have the option to save or save as. Again, I always recommend to go save as. So I'm gonna drop down the save as option, and we're gonna call this sample document. Let's go annotated in Zodo. Save, close that. Now on my desktop, you're gonna see we have the sample document, the one annotated in Edge, and the one annotated in Zodo. So let me open up the Edge for you, and we'll snap that over to the right-hand side. And now we'll open up the sample document in Zodo, we'll snap that over to the left. 
And here we have two final documents. One is a rough markup, which we've done on Microsoft Edge, and the other one is a much more professional looking markup that we did in Zerto PDF. But the key element today is the workflow and how streamlined we made it. There was no need to get a piece of paper and a pen and sign and mark up a document. You didn't have to grab your phone or a scanner to take a photo of that document and then email it to yourself and then send it off. We did everything on the computer. You didn't waste time double handling. You didn't have to print and copy and scan. You didn't have to throw that piece of paper at the end of it. You did everything on your computer and you have that digital record of it. So the big win today is the fact that you can do everything digitally on your PC. You're gonna save time, money and effort and honestly get a much better result than if you did your markups on a physical piece of paper. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and let me know what other content you want me to cover. Thanks for watching, have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.